So, Panzer yeah. Zombies has been going through a pretty rough time these last couple of years from both their fan base and financially, judging by uh, cancelling all updates um, on Battlefront Neighborville, which is their recent shooter game. And you may be asking, was it greed? Was it a mix of bad decisions? Or was it just EA hey, buying them the out? Yes, definitely. EA wasn't the only reason. I know a lot of people like to point figures at EA, but I believe it to run a bit deeper than meets the So let's just get straight into this. After the Zombies is a tower defense game where instead of using your traditional path where the enemies follow, there is lanes, which already created its own genre of tower defense. But anyways, there is 50 levels in the game. Every every five levels, you get a new objective, like some new part of the game. Like you would unlock mini games, you'd unlock the shop, you'd unlock the almanac, and it will just give you more purposes in the game, more areas too, so the deeper you run. And playing 50 levels of the same thing will get tedious after a while so every couple of levels they change it up by giving you a new objective like every couple of levels they will give you like um, a bowling kind of spin-off where you use walnuts explosive walnuts to kill the enemies instead of just doing the regular so it's on anyways it's a great five lane tower defense game you defend against hordes of zombies soundtrack for this game is just top notch let's just appreciate appreciate the beauty that this is let's just take a couple of seconds So um, the next versions of Plants vs Zombies after the initial launch on May 5th, 2009 was the Game of the Year version, 2000, August 8th, 2010 for PC versions. And this, this version had a few minor changes, like the, some of the achievements on the Game of the Year version was actually extra nine achievements that you could unlock, making the total 21 achievements. And some of the icons were changed for like whole life security. The next version of the game was released on Xbox 360. It was released in uh, September 8th, 2010. Next stop was the PlayStation 3 in February 8, 2011. They are taking like more years. They take a year normally to get ported to another device. And then the PS Vita another year later, 2012, February 21st. And then that is really all the ports that they had for the Plants vs. Zombies. And then it got ported to um, like Blackberry. But mobile versions of the original Plants vs. Zombies is free, which made the game very, very popular on mobile. And having your game available on all these devices make it widely accessible for everyone to play which makes the game easy to play for everyone and making it a household name like it is today so i'm not going to go into too much detail about plants vs zombies 2 as this is not what i thought the video would go into i'll just do a quick overview for you um plants vs zombies 2 it was a brilliant perfect sequel in my opinion they got everything that the original everything that we liked from the original amplified it more levels more characters fast forward button 50 sun for every sun collected instead of 25 perfect and then ea had to make the money somehow so they added some microtransactions for plants very much like seven seven euro pound dollar whatever for one plant craziness i didn't i didn't make the price but i'll leave it off for them because mr ea needs his money plants vs zombies garden warfare came out after plants vs zombies 2 and uh, this is a game where I wish I was in the board meeting where they discussed this game. So they went from terror defense game to terror person shooter. So it's plants and zombies, both teams have guns. Like a Call of Duty or any of these terror person shooters that you like. But there is two options uh, of playing. Uh, Garden Ops where you defend against 10 waves of zombies and every 5 rounds a boss wave comes out. And uh, sometimes it's mega boss, sometimes it's coins. It, it, it's, it is what it is. But um, then the other one is multiplayer, where you can do um, guys in the graveyards, team vanquish and gnome bomb. Brilliant game modes, brilliant game. Executed very well. Exactly the same thing they did with Plants vs Zombies 2, which made it a perfect sequel in my opinion, is they got everything that made the original game and made it amplified. They made it better. They had extra three characters on both teams, the Citron, the Rose and Colonel Corn. The corn guy, um, and then on the zombie side, you had the imp, the uh, 
the superhero, super brains, and you had Captain Blackbeard, the, the pirate. And it just made the game better. They made more maps, more customizations, back, uh, backyard battleground. All these things just made the game better. And it just it just improved the game a lot, making it another perfect sequel. So after the pre-alpha was released, and everybody saw the dreadful art style. That they 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 showed us and gave us. There was a lot of backlash and pop cap in EA. Whoever the head office was, they they didn't enjoy it. So they took down the game for a couple of months, reworked the art style, reworked everything. Like me personally, I wanted to see my sunflower back. It was it was in a box. I'm not having it. But um, the beta, I surprisingly, it looks really good. Uh, the way I played it, they took it down, so still can't play it to this day. I have some opinions on it, like. Um, they bring it back to uh, landscape, which is very good. I liked the art style, very nice. Um, all the stuff they did, new. I just have some issues with the um, the length of the some of the games. Like some of the games were lasting me like maybe a minute max, which for a game it's not the best. Obviously, it's in pre-alpha. I know that they need to adjust some things, but so the train wreck of a release that Plants vs Zombies Three pre-alpha had. It looked absolutely terrible um, when it first released. The aspect ratio, they took more of a portrait to appeal more to the mobile market. And not not at all what it looked like, like in, with the original. An exception with the number two, because that one, we enjoyed. We enjoyed number two. And it came back surprisingly good, taking back the landscape uh, ratio, fixing the art style, which I can now see an evolution through Panzer Zombies. One, Plasma Zombies 2 and Plasma Zombies 2, you can see as an evolution. And um, I love it, this art style. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but you, you'll always get those guys in life. You, you just hate it for no reason. But the game still needs a few things fixed, like the levels are stupidly um, short and it just it doesn't work with the game style. And they need to rename Crazy Dave, Crazy Dave. They just call him Gate Dave in it. No, Crazy Dave, please. And, but. Uh, in my opinion, but this is too much too late and the name has already been dragged through the mud and there's not really they can do. Hopefully, they can uh, turn this around and it becomes a success so they can keep pumping up Plants vs Zombies content because I know I enjoy these, so hopefully they do. Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. This is probably, in my opinion, in my experience, the most disappointing game I have after Cyberpunk 2077. This is very disappointing for me. I I pre-ordered the game, was excited for launch. Came out terrible. Like, look at this. This and this, good games. But this is trash. But, oh, like there's a few major things they did wrong. Like they, um, they, they had very, very little character customizations which made uh, Garden Warfare and Garden Warfare 2 fan favorites because when you're able to customize my pea shooter and put a crown on him nice but when i can't put nothing on him and i'm playing two two three games and i'm only getting one customization and it's for the citron which i don't like it, it, it's, it's not fun for me and there's no character variance so there's no like there's no depth to the game and this just a lack of a lot of content it was mostly they mostly went for pve stuff which you know, a lot of people don't like like me and the game just fumbled and it's kind of sad to see because they had a lot of stuff planned. I saw some of the leaks, they had a lot of updates planned, the extra variants added and they just cancelled all this due to the lack of um, people playing the game. Because shortly after the game was released, nobody played the game and it's just it's just sad to see. And it was it was a great concept, but executed pretty poorly. I think they should have um, delayed the game and added a bit more content before they released because the release is everything and it can ruin the game so my conclusion for this video and um, hopefully i uh, didn't skip over too many things that you wanted to see because i didn't want to make this a 30 minute documentary you know what i mean but um i don't think the plants vs zombies franchise is dead yet but with the re-release of garden warfare 2 on steam it brought a hell of a load of new players 
um, onto the servers and they should see they should look into the servers and see that there's there's a player base still brewing on a game that's six years old and they should EA and Popcap should just look onto these and just realize that these upcoming projects are some of the most important because this will either make or break uh, the franchise and it will it will just and I believe EA needs to uh, they need to it's EA so they obviously they want our money they're notorious for being money hungry so I just think they need to stop going for um, just the money they need to start start by taking some advice from the community because the community is the game it is the game so they need to start taking the community's advice and making the game on PC I don't want it just on mobile I want it on PC I want it on console I want what they did with the original with Plasma Zombies 3 they need to do this but now since they got this terrible backlash for the pre-alpha I think they're too scared to make changes to the game which is not good i want to see new stuff new features i don't want to i want to see progression through the video of uh, through the games and uh i'm already seeing it hopefully they do it we'll see but uh, hopefully yeah you just need to give us game of three and plants versus zombies remastered i'm just saying